Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Newton and this is the Melhores Seu Inglês Podcast. Hello everyone, in this week's episode of our Melhores Seu Inglês Podcast, we are going to talk about how to report people's words and thoughts. So, this is a reported speech um, episode. So, when we report what people think or what they have said, we often report in our own words when the information they convey is more important than their exact words. When we do this, we can use sentences that have a reporting clause and a reported clause. So, reporting clause and reported clause. A reporting clause is a sentence where that you are reporting something, that you're saying something that somebody else did or said. And a reported clause is a sentence about the thing that you're, you're doing the report. So let's take a look. She explained that she couldn't take the job until January. The that is optional. So you could say, she explained she wouldn't, she couldn't take the job until January. The first part is a reporting clause. The second part is the reported clause. He didn't ask me where to put the boxes. He didn't ask me where to put the boxes. So the first part is the reporting clause. The second part is the reported clause. If the exact words are important, or if we want to create some dramatic effect, we might report their actual words. In writing, this is done in a quotation. So when you write, when you write about something, uh, something that someone said, you put in quotes. Okay, the punctuation you put in quotes. For example. Quote, I suppose you've heard the latest news, quote, end quote. She said, open quote, of course, closing, uh, end quote. Carter replied, quote, you will have to pay him to do the job, end quote. So in this case, the reporting clause or the reporting sentence can come before, within or at the end of the quotation. In English, use it in stories and novels. The reporting verb, for example, say, reply, think, is often placed before the subject when the reporting clause comes after the quotation. For example, when will you be back? Asked Arnold. Or Arnold asked. However, we don't use this order when the subject is a pronoun, except in a literary style, for example. And after that, I moved to Italy. She continued, not continued she. <laughs> we say she continued. So let's take a look on negatives in reporting. To report what somebody didn't say or think, we make the reporting verb negative, for example, he didn't tell me how he would get to London. He didn't tell me how he would get to London. If we want to report a negative sentence, then we usually report this in the reported clause. For example, you're right, it isn't a good idea. He agreed that it wasn't a good idea. He agreed that it wasn't a good idea although it may be reported in the reporting clause, depending on meaning. For example, I disagree. It's not a good idea at all. He didn't agree that it was a good idea. However, with some verbs, to report a negative sentence, we usually make the verb in the reporting clause negative. So, let's see the examples. I expect he won't come. I don't expect he will come. So let's see the reported speech. She didn't expect him to come. Rather than she expected he wouldn't come. So we say she didn't expect him to come in this case. Other verbs like this include believe, feel, intend, plan, propose, suppose, think, and want. Now to finish, reporting questions. To report a WH question, we 
use a reporting clause or a reporting sentence and a clause with a WH word or in a sentence with a WH word. For example, she asked me what the problem was. She asked me what the problem was. I asked him where to go next. I asked him where to go next. When we report a yes or no question, we use a reporting clause followed by a clause beginning with either if or whether. But note that we can't use if plus to infinitive. Okay? Let's see. Liz wanted to know if we had any photos of our holiday. You can say this sentence with whether. Liz wanted to know whether we, can, we had any photos of our holiday. The usual word order in WH, IF, uh, WH, IF, or whether clause is the one we would use in a statement. So let's see the example. The examples, right? Have you seen Paul recently? She wanted to know if I had seen Paul recently. So, have you seen? Had seen. Have you seen Paul recently? She wanted to know if I had seen Paul recently. However, if the original question begins with what, which, who, followed by a B plus complement, we can put the complement before or after the, the B in the report. For example, who was the winner? I asked who the winner was, or I asked who was the winner. Notice that we don't use a form of do in the WH if or whether clause. For example, she asked me where I found it, not where did I found it, where did I find it. We say like this again, she asked me where I found it. However, if we, are, if we are reporting a negative question, we can use a negative form of do. For example, he asked why I didn't want anything to eat. He asked me, you could say me, it's optional here. He asked me why I didn't want anything to eat. And this was the Melhor em Seu Inglês podcast. Para aulas de inglês por Skype, focadas em conversação, individuais, personalizadas e para todos os níveis, basta entrar em contato comigo ou com a professora Erika nos nossos sites Melhor em Seu Inglês Instagram, Melhor em Seu Inglês Facebook e o blog Melhor em Seu Inglês.wordpress.com ou nos contate diretamente no WhatsApp 31 9143 7388 31 9143 7388 Keep studying and improve your English!